All right, we are here at uh, Barb and Bill's house looking at uh, from right to left, uh, which they are marked. You can see them there on the right side is the kitchen, uh, serves the kitchen side of the home, uh, heating and air. And then the unit on the left is for the second floor. Um, the AC um, outside and the coil on the right unit are quite a bit newer. I think they were put in 2010. Uh, the unit on the left uh, is also a Lennox, but it's much, much older. Uh, I'll get exact details on that when I go outside. Uh, what I would like to do is um, there's not a lot of room to be able to service these, um, which the refrigerant lines, we're going to have to flush those because those are actually running all the way to the end here, up, and then through finished part of the basement for a good probably 30 to 40 feet. So what I'd like to do is actually turn turn these furnaces um, to where the front of them are possibly over here, which I'll discuss that further with the install group, but basically keep the uh, refrigerant lines on the other side, keep the A-coils facing that way, but then have the furnaces turning on this side over here. Um, as far as the drops go, everything is fairly straightforward. We've got about a four and a half inch gap right here on both of them. Uh, so we'll have to slide uh, slide these units over a little bit. There's not a whole lot of space to move them uh, to make up for that five inch cabinet, but we'll figure all that out. Uh, we'll be coming back in with new bypass humidifiers for both. So currently sitting on this side here. Uh, the unit on the left, 75,000 BTU. Uh, the unit on the far right is 50,000 BTU. Uh, we do have, um, both units are actually sitting which I notated this in my measurements, but both units are sitting a good two and a half, three inches off the ground. There is a little bit of a difference between the two because it's a sloping floor right here to compensate for the drain. Um, PVC lines, everything's already been set. Running right out over there. And then I will also uh, take a video of the panel for you to see.